Hey everyone, Bradley from Calconic here, and today I'll be showing you the latest changes we've made to the Calconic Calculator Builder. This is what the new Calconic looks like. As you can see right off the bat, a lot has been changed or moved around. The core actions, such as adding elements, activating the calculator, and finding the embed information, are all on the left side of the screen now. To the right, we have the preview and save functions. By the way, don't forget to save your calculator often. The biggest change we've introduced is the new layout system. You can now have multiple columns and rows in your calculator, rearrange the elements, and adjust their height and width to get the exact look you desire. Another important feature we've introduced is device breakpoints. We've added buttons to the top menu bar that allow you to switch to different device sizes, and each breakpoint can have its own layout and style. On to the elements setting changes. As you've probably already noticed, the settings are now gone. Well, technically they're not gone. They've just been turned into this super convenient, draggable panel that opens up by clicking the element you'd like to edit. Another change is that we've moved the duplicate and remove element controls to the panel. They can be found here, just below the panel title. The element style settings can also be found here in the panel. The settings themselves haven't changed much and still function as they did in the previous version. One important thing I should mention though is that both shared and custom styles now have this useful drop down next to them that allow you to adjust styles for different device breakpoints. We also gave the same panel redesign treatment to the general calculator settings, which can be accessed here by clicking on the gear icon. Getting back to the elements setting panel, there's been another important addition. By clicking on the panel label, we get this nice element tree. You can find all of your elements listed here, and it includes both hidden and visible elements. The hidden elements are not displayed in the editor anymore, so if you want to access them and change the settings around, you can just click on the element in the list, and it will give you access to the settings. Lastly, we have some new elements available for you. Let's mention the title element first. Previously, your calculators had the option to either always display the title at the top or remove it completely. While now it functions as its own element and can be dragged around, resized, and positioned just like any other element. I should also mention that we haven't removed the calculator title setting. It's still available under the calculator settings, however, it's now used for SEO and reference purposes only. The last element that we've added is the group element. It's simple but powerful and allows you to group other elements together. You can access the settings by clicking on the element just like you would for any other. Groups have the same conditional visibility rules like every other element, and you can even make them collapsible if you want. To move your existing elements into a group, you can use the aforementioned element tree. Just drag the desired elements into or out of the group elements within the list, and the element will automatically be added or removed from the group. Thank you for joining the Calconic Layout Beta. We hope you're as excited about the new features and functionality as we are. Just remember, beta is beta, so some bugs are to be expected. If you happen to encounter any, you can notify us via the email on the screen. Thanks for watching, and until next time.